Meanwhile, gun news in our area. Armed guards will soon roam the hallways at 11 schools in East Brunswick in New Jersey. Several other school districts of the state now considering similar action to be taken. All this in response to a local threat and, of course, the Flu Florida gun massacre shooting at the school. And now the students are making their voices heard. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates live from East Brunswick with the story. Tony. Oh, yes, they are, Bill. You know, I spoke to several students in this school district who are passionate about joining students across the country and letting their voices be heard. And by the way, these students are just back from the holiday and they went to school this morning under tighter, stepped up security. I think it's really important that as young people, we stand up for what we believe in because we're the next people uh, up to vote. And I think it's important that Congress knows that we're not going to stand for the people getting paid millions by the NRA to vote program. Engaged and informed, and Vanessa Russo is only a sophomore in high school. She's among many students at East Brunswick High School who plan a walkout tomorrow morning in support of the victims and survivors of the Parkland, Florida shooting and demanding more gun control legislation. If it's anything, whether you're on the left or the right, the one thing that we need right now is for kids to be protected. Immediately after the Florida shooting, East Brunswick School District moved to put armed security guards in all the schools. It's been a plan they've been working on for two years. We're going to have coverage for all of our schools um, starting next week. Mm -hmm. uh, today we have a couple of schools that are covered, but as we implement this, this is actually the first day back for students after President's Day. Questionable still to some, a comfort to others. We're definitely leading the way, in my opinion, you know. Just two days after the incident in Florida, we had armed gunmen, armed police officers in all our schools. I think it's a role model to look up to. Up in Mawa, the mayor fought for that school district to have armed guards. Our Board of Education, our police department have worked together way in advance of this to provide uh, uh, active shooter drills and, and communication structures that, you know, that would leave us prepared. And Governor Phil Murphy held a meeting on making sure schools in the state are safe. The partnerships between our schools and local and county law enforcement are critical to not just preventing uh, violence, but to ensuring that students understand the importance of working with police to report dangers. We also support, because we just talked about it, common sense measures to ensure that individuals determined by a mental health professional to be a threat to themselves or others do not have access to guns. As for the walkout tomorrow in East Brunswick, Dr. Valeski says these kids are mindful future leaders who've asked themselves the right questions on this. And what's the purpose of the walkout? You know, what do you, what do you hope to accomplish? And, and what do you want people to remember from that? Now, the superintendent here in East Brunswick says there are a lot of people in the community who were against having armed guards at the school. His response to them coming up tonight at 6 o'clock.